first up tonight, when oils are not the oils they say, and as you'll see, labels aren't labels. Extra virgin olive oil is now a major line in supermarkets and is a business worth $300 million a year. But olive oil fraud is also a major international racket with massive profits akin to those of drug trafficking. A lot of phony extra virgin oil is making it into Australia and it's hurting many local producers who are doing the right thing. So, to a special four-month investigation by Today Tonight's Frank Pangello, who received anonymous threats in the course of his work. We find out what you see is not always what you get. Now, if you have the third largest and one of the fastest growing markets in the world, and no one is checking olive oil quality, it's an open invitation to fraud. Absolutely de deliberately misleading, you know, profiteering with bad cheap product. Australians are now the largest consumers of extra virgin olive oil outside of Mediterranean countries. It's preferred by consumers. It has wonderful culinary attributes, in particular extra virgin olive oil, and of course its wonderful health attributes. It's a lucrative business, worth billions of dollars for European exporters flooding global markets with their cheap product. And that's killing Australian producers, according to Olive Oil Association President Paul Miller. Australia has been the target for European producers primarily for lower grade product, uh, sadly sold often as extra virgin olive oil when in fact it's refined product or worse still oil that's well beyond its life and really shouldn't be sold. It's also unregulated, making it a very slippery trade. There are serious cases of outright fraud in which dishonest oil traders and oil producers buy soybean oil, sunflower seed oil, color it with chlorophyll, flavor it with beta carotene and sell the result as extra virgin olive oil. American Tom Miller has written a book about international oil fraud, which is rampant because it's so easy to fool consumers. If you can't instinctively or after experience tell the difference, between a fresh, bright, green, complex tasting olive oil and something that's flat, greasy and dead, the fraudster is sitting pretty. Anyone who's in the business should be able to tell the difference between a good oil and a bad oil simply by the taste. But beyond that, it's very simple, quite economical to run some chemical tests and monitor the quality of what you're getting. So the oils ain't the oils you say they are on the label, are they? Well, uh, I'm not going to talk about something like this on the street because well, well, it's obviously... You, okay, well, should we come uh, in and talk to you no, in the office? Not, not at all. Do you want I me mean, to show you the results? Not at all. But dodgy oils aren't only coming in from overseas. Tonight, our investigation exposes the shocking, substandard oils branded as premium quality by a major South Australian producer. I swear on the Bible, and I'm not even a Christian, but I'll swear on the Bible that that is absolute crap, Frank. I'm glad you found out because it's the, it's the consumer out there that is getting ripped off here. And the whistleblowers who reveal their deceptive conduct. So this is a box of taffinade that we changed to use by dates and resealed it. And maybe by the time they were sold four or five years old. And we also test the imported oil sold by Master Chef star George Calambaris under his GC him. label. What we got there, chef? Surprising there's results. So some salt, some olive oil. Good olive oil is made from sound olives that are in good shape from healthy trees and the key is getting the olives to the mill fairly quickly and by that I mean like within 24 hours and, and then it's easy to make extra virgin olive oil. The big olive company's vision is clear and simple to organically produce the world's best varieties of olives, olive oil and related products and do it better than anybody else. A big claim made by the Big Olive, a sprawling olive farm with modern processing facilities at Talem Bend owned by Jihad or Joe Harney. Rabia Mogul Bay is his right hand man, the head of national and international sales and marketing. I'm very, very lucky to have been associated with such good people around me that we could reach this level of success. The only problem, they don't usually last long. He told me, you come and work for Johanny, you work with me for life, and then you know, within a week of being there, he abused the hell out of me over no reason. This was the wrong decision. He wasn't the right person for me to be working for. 
former policeman Sean Riley moved his family from New Zealand to be farm manager. He ended up running the factory until he quit last year because promises he claims were made to him by Mr Harney were not met. The thing that really that just kept on jumping out in front of me is that the, just the, the culture of, of the company that he was running was just so rotten. Uh, people had, it was like a, a revolving door. A lot of the equipment was not, a, not compliant at all. It was just a, a losing battle for me when I was managing that property to try and get things up in the straight and narrow. There were things he saw that disturbed him, like a worker who had his own unhygienic way of dealing with overfilled bottles on the production line. He actually was slugging out of the bottles just to drop the, the oil levels for overfilled bottles and then putting it straight under the capper. Depending on how the machines were running, um, he would more than likely do it a couple of times a day. But far more alarming, tampering with best buy dates to extend the shelf life of thousands of jars of olive tapenade. Former factory worker Shane Rosler says he did it on the orders of Mr Mogulbay. We erased the old text with acetone, um, reprinted them onto the, uh, onto the side of the glass with a laser printer that we had set up for the bottled line. On a recent visit to the Big Olive, we bought two of the last boxes of the tapenade that were on discounted sale and showed them to Shane. As you can see, the old use by date on the side here, which is the 28th of March 2011. The sticker tape, as you can see, is actually a double layer. It's actually an old layer of sticker tape on the inside. As we open it, the jars read the 14th of the 2nd, 2014, which is a few years from the old date. We found still visible old dates on jars Shane failed to completely wipe out. Yeah, I was asked to work out a way in regards to how to do it. And um, so that, and that's what I did. And I put them back through the line. They gave me the dates they wanted on them. And I just put it back through. How out of date could they have been, those products? Three years. That was done last year. And by altering the best buy date, they were breaching the Australia-New Zealand Food Standards Code. But it was all news to Mr Mogul Bay. No one deals with any, any oil in the business use apart from me and Change the use by dates on some of your products. Frank, yeah, put, all, put, all, put all of your questions. Well, I've got one of your workers in the city. Right way. Well, come on, Frank, everyone's got workers. We have four labels here at the Big Olive. The flagship is Ozolio, which is our supermarket champion. Uh, or our retail champion. And, and that brings us to their core product, extra virgin olive oil, sold through their brands Oz Olio, The Big Olive, Benny Vita and Kurong. We have another brand called Kurong, which is a fabulous South Australian region, and that's a more gourmet, connoisseur's choice, ultra premium brand of olive oil. Well, is it all what they say it is? Jihad Joe stakes his reputation on it in his corporate DVD. And if we are not committed, we uh, cannot fight, we cannot succeed. Our commitment is the essence to our success. We randomly bought several identical bottles of each of the brands of extra virgin oils made at the Big Olive from Adelaide supermarkets and from their own Canalpin facility. I tested every one of the I tested brands. about 17 oils on Tuesday. And what do they show? Oh my God, the, 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 the quality is unbelievable. Really? So you feel Where like did you test you, them? You... Well, we sent ours to be analysed at the NATA accredited Modern Olives Laboratory in Victoria, where they were put through exacting chemical and sensory tests which determine the quality under the new Australian standard for extra virgin olive oil.